Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are celebrating Corona's birthday. Uh, as you can see, she looks extremely excited and happy about it. She likes popcorn. She does like popcorn. Um, and she's celebrating and she's is. turning two years old. Two years old today for the lockdown kitty. So, happy birthday, Corona. She's been a blessing in this horrible and difficult time of COVID. She has. Anyway, uh, Kat's birthday, let's get on with the video. Alrighty, so birthday wishes out of the road for Corona. Uh, today's video is a VR response to John the Autograph Fisherman, who has put out the challenge to showcase your 10 favorite athletes. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, cover a few different sports, cover about four different sports, but I'm going to start with a few honourable mentions because I, I struggle to keep it on, down to 10. So I've got four honourable mentions. First one is Leon Dreisaitl. Uh, and I've got this really nice clear cut, uh, which I pulled out of a box of Extended this year. Uh, really tough when you're playing Robin to uh, Connor McJesus as Batman. Any other team, this guy get a lot more, uh, a lot more praise, a lot more accolades. Uh, I know he's a hell of a player, uh, but you're always going to play second fiddle to Connor. Uh, my second honourable mention is Patrick Marlowe. Uh, I've got these two nice rookie autos. Uh, you gotta, you, you got to give a guy credit when he plays 20 years in the league. He was a bit old when he came out of the Leafs, but, um, you know, he... Uh, I think he, he helped the younger players come along, and he's always been one of my favorites. So. Third honorable mention, Phil Lathrell. Got him on these nice, um, significant numbers. Um, Toronto wasted a lot of years with him. Um, just not surrounding him with the right talent. Uh, and as we all know, he moved on to Pittsburgh and won the Cups. Shame he couldn't do it in Toronto. And my last honourable mention is a guy from the 70s. And we're going to baseball and Bill Lee. The Spaceman is one of my all-time favourites. Uh, just love his interviews. Um, nobody sees the world quite like the Spaceman. So two nice uh, TTM autos there. So we'll get on to the top 10. And number 10... Uh, I've gone to the to the NFL, and my favourite all-time NFL player, and that's Doug Flutie. Um, this guy just uh, epitomised perseverance. Uh, five foot ten, everyone wrote him off for years and years and years, and he just kept proving everyone wrong. Um, we know what he did in the CFL, uh, six times MVP. Three great cups. Uh, his win over Miami when he was with Boston College, and uh, then what he did in Buffalo uh, before they dumped him for Rob Johnson. And well, we all know what happened: the uh, Music City miracle, um, and Buffalo didn't make the playoffs for another 20 years. So he's player number 10. Uh, can't have a top 10 list without the great one. Uh, got him on these nice black diamond diamond cutters. Um, not much needs to be said about Wayne Gretzky. Uh, you know, greatest scorer of all time. Number eight, I'm going back to baseball and back to my uh, beloved Blue Jays and their championship teams of the 90s with their gun third baseman, Kelly Gruber. Uh, I know he wasn't the greatest in the playoffs. I think he did hit one home run. Um, but solid D at third base, heart and soul of those teams. Didn't get the uh, the accolades of Joe Carter and a few of the other guys, but um, Kelly was also always, always my favorite on the Blue Jays. Number seven, I'm going to the Canucks, uh, and that's Brock Besser. Um, got his nice rookie tribute here from Clear Cut. Um, Old BB6 is he's for the heart and soul of Vancouver. I know they're not the greatest at the moment. Um, they did have a good run a couple of years ago in the playoffs. Uh, 
also got him on this nice SP game used. Number to 10. Uh, and one of my favourites. Next one, I'm actually going to go to Rugby League. Now, nobody out there probably knows much about this guy. Uh, this is Brett Kenny. Uh, he was one of my favourite, favourite players when I was a kid. Uh, when Parramatta won four, four premierships in six years. Uh, just have a look at the video here. A uh, quick look at what he used to be able to do. Nobody was a bigger hit with Parramatta fans than Brett Kenny. Gets it to Kenny! 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 Scores in the Paddington Hill corner! This is Sims, a long ball over to Wolf, and Wolf held back the ball. Was it? Oh! There he goes, Brett Kenny! That was the intercept he took in the 81 grand final. Then he gives it to Ella. Ella inside to Kenny. Oh boy, oh boy, do you reckon they can't put it together? So that was Brett Kenny. I should probably put some of these up on here, shouldn't I? Um, next player I'm going to go to is my number five player. And that's Alex Kerfoot. I'm really happy he's on the Leafs this year. I'm really happy he's actually finding a home uh, on that second line now. Um, they've struggled to really find a place for him uh, but I think this year he's showing what he's capable of um, I was really happy yeah really happy when they picked him up from Colorado uh, so hopefully he'll uh, be a bit of a mainstay there for another couple of years but this nice auto from the cup uh, it's numbered 12 of 36 so one of the favorite cars in the collection I don't know if it'll sit there I think it's too big Next up, Mitch Marner. Um, probably see the video where I pulled this uh, Young Guns. Uh, Mitchie's a bit like Leon Dreisaitl. Um, plays Robin to Austin Matthews, Batman. Any other team, he'd probably be the, the main guy. Um, perennial point scorer, beautiful passing game. And uh, yeah, definitely a favorite there. Getting down to the bottom. Next one up, Maddie Sundin. Um, a nice rookie card there, and nice number down to 299 from Ingrained. Uh, not much needs to be said about Matt Sundin. Absolutely awesome player. Uh, scored a ton of goals for the Leafs. Um, once again, another one of the all-time favourites. Gets a place there. Number two. Got to go with Austin. Uh, unfortunately, I don't tend to have too many cards of his. Uh, guy's got a laser beam of a shot. Um, you know, he's just one of those pure goal scorers. Uh, I know Slappy would wish wishes he had better dress sense, um, but you, you can't go past him. This guy knows how to find the net. So he's my number two player, and my number one player. I'm going back to rugby league. Um, just because living here, it's, uh, it's the main sport. Uh, and I'm going with a guy by the name of Nathan Hindmarsh. Um, oh, and this is, yeah, Nathan. Oh. Hindy, Hindy was my favorite player. Retired about 10 years ago. Absolute war horse. Worked his butt off. Uh, ran like a, you know. He played with his heart. He did, he did. Um, and most games ended up with his ass falling out the back of his pants. But um, just give you a look, I, I could sit here and dribble on about this guy. He was a fantastic rugby league player. And I'll just give you a quick look here on the video to see some of his highlights. Yeah. And what a war horse he continues to be. Oh, big shot of Robinson. Nothing late back in the lead. He has a high mark.
This is where it all starts. Hindmarsh running the ball up. Loses the Dax. <laughs> in his face. What did you do, Mick? Square up the Jack City. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and if we freeze the frame. <laughs> man. Look at So there it is, guys. That's, uh, that's my top 10. Um, hopefully it does the job for John, for the autograph fisherman, John Burgess. And um, look forward to seeing uh, everyone else's VR to this competition. Thanks, guys. See you at the next break.